All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Whether you like it or not, I've kind of uh, hit my cold weather fishery. November through January is pretty good for most of the tidal creeks and headwaters, real back bay stuff. Probably today I'm gonna target more uh, perch, striped bass, catfish. I'm gonna target some cat, try to catch some catfish today. I'm gonna try to catch some smaller white perch for flatheads and I'm gonna try to catch some larger white perch for the table. I might keep a, a channel cat today too, if we get one of those, but uh, let's see what we end up finding today. A lot of bait around already, so things are looking pretty pretty fishy. If I got a few fish here, so I gotta catch some bait first, right? Catfish bait. That could be um, white perch, could be a bluegill. Yeah, that stuff's fine. Bait and marks, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Is that all bait? It's a crazy amount if it is. There's no way this is all bait. Just stopped on this. Gosh, good fish, whatever this is. Gotta be a white perch. Panfish rod. Oh, that's a slab. Hmm. Good size of this perch right here. This is a white perch. Right, kind of a tasty little fish right here. Gonna try to catch a couple smaller ones to use for bait. But I think I'm gonna keep a couple of these 13 inches for dinner to start. I'm seeing a lot of like bait out here floating around and I'm seeing a few fish on the bottom. Um, yeah, perch are great to eat. So these guys look pretty similar to white bass, but they're coastal fish and they're invasive in some spots, but uh, related to striped bass. So kind of similar to white bass, but they have a bad reputation of taking over areas. Um, really prolific fish um, they need a good food source to get pretty big too usually so uh, 13 inches will do just fine no minimum size on them i think this guy's probably about a pound and a half so all right let's get him on ice back here I'm trying to catch a couple perch for bait and then from there i'll probably uh chunk some of the smaller ones and eat some of the larger ones man what was all this let me go back over that one more time All right, well, that's bait. Need a couple of these guys. The white perch. Will be for the catfish we're gonna try to catch in a few. We start with the big fish, little fish, and it tracks the bigger fish, right? Isn't that how it goes? It's a fat one right there. Ooh, almost 14, man. 13 and a half. It's not a bad white perch right there. My biggest is about 14 and a half, so I'll take my 14s all day. All right, I'm gonna keep two of these guys and I'm good on the meat. We got some fish at home right now still. And, uh, but yeah, nice big fat white perch there. All right, use both of these guys for the catfish we're gonna catch. That's probably all I need them for. Two perch for the cats. I'm gonna put the Mackinac away for a second. We're going to try just a little bit of a larger profile here. Just in case there's a striper nearby. I'm going to try a full-size Mackinac. Ooh, better fish. Nice perch, man. It's a big one. 
I'm good on meat. I'll put these bigger ones back. Catch maybe throughout the winter where somebody else can catch them, right? I don't have to kill every fish, right? That was a big fat perch right there, man. Just drop it down to the bottom, bounce it. What I like to do too is also just start a straight retrieve. It's a good chance at a striper somewhere here. It certainly is. No perch. Sir, no, sir. Something much larger than a perch right here. It's catfish, isn't it? it feels like it's a big cat. <laughs> a Mackinac catfish. Kind of cool. Guess I'm in the right zone. I, I really like the cold water fishing around here. Uh, this is a channel catfish. That's a decent sized one at that. I do like fried catfish, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I will keep one later in the day. All right, not marking anything anymore, huh? I got a couple of fish. Ooh. The perch. Got a perch on here, I think. Oh man, he's a great class of perch right now. I'm on. Another good one, man. Holding out hope for a striper here. I feel like this is feeling real stripery right now. Ooh, I got thumped on the drop, and I hate it when that happens. I'm using a heavier setup than I normally would use for perch, but uh, it's because I'm going to use this setup also to catfish a little bit later in the day here. More appropriate for a striped bass, if you ask me. I'm gonna go back to free drifting. Honestly, I feel like I'm getting better bites when I'm free drifting versus spot locking. This gives the bait a little bit more of a natural movement, I guess, like it's drifting away. Largemouth? No, it's catfish. I got them on the side. How did I do that? There must be so many of them down there wrapping around my jig. I wonder if that was the same one I just released. It really looks like it. What you doing, bro? They aren't the best uh, feeders when it comes to uh, attacking lures. So, jigged the big flathead last year. So, let's see if we could do that too today. That'd be real cool. Not holding my breath. That doesn't happen too often. But it does happen. I do know that. All right, I did one long drift there. Caught quite a few fish, uh, mostly small white perch, but we had a couple of 13 and 14 inches there, and two catfish. Fine by me. Uh, I'm just slow trolling now. Let's see if we find run over a couple more fish. I could always go back to those fish. Last drift was like a little less exciting. Still caught fish on the last drift, but. I want to just try to find a, another batch of perch or, speaking of which, perch or striper or whatever I'm going to find out here. Right, let's just free drift it. Got life around here, so. It's definitely fish around. They're just not, they kind of shut off. Shouldn't have dilly dallied with catfish for so long, honestly.
better fish. Hey, at least it's a better one. All the ones we're catching the last, you know, 20, 30 minutes have been kind of small. Hey, that porker. Whole catfish thing's not going very well. You know, there are big ones where I'm at. I definitely have caught a few. Well, I've hooked a few and landed a few, but nothing crazy in either department that end, but I do know they're here. Good fish. Crazy. Crazy how long it took for that bite. You know what I'm saying? I think we got an evening striper to go with all our perch. pound leader and I'm using a quarter ounce Mackinac shad so small lure small everything either a catfish or a striper big could be a catfish Good fish, man. Really want to see what this is. Wow. It's a nice striped bass, I think. Oh, catfish, wow. Oh, it was gonna be a striper. <laughs> Let's see what type. Is that a channel cat? Blue cat. White cat. So many different types of catfish out here. Got catfished. Chunk baits all day, couldn't get a bite. It's funny how that works. Not sure of the type. I think that's a white catfish. I've heard that before. Oh, he's heavy though. Is that what this is? I don't think this is a channel cat. Definitely built differently than a channel cat. Let me show you this guy. 
Is that a channel catfish? I need some help here. I think I, uh, it's a white catfish. I've heard that name a few times. I think the head's different on this guy than a channel cat. It looks more like a bullhead. Right? I don't know. Well. That's definitely the biggest of either one of these species I've caught. I feel like he's got a shorter tail too, so I think it's that other catfish. Because we have a we have a native catfish on the coast here. It's called a white catfish. That's a 29-inch white cat. And I think that's what this guy is. We've got um, channel cats out here, and we've got flatheads. I believe this is a white cat. Oh! It's about 29 inches, so I think that's a pretty large one of one of those guys. I hope that's not a blue cat. Blue cat tail is different. That's the only reason I think that's a different type of catfish. It's a different type of tail. I think that's one of those native ones that we have here on the coast. The white cat. All right, guys, this is going to be my last drift here. Most of the action came on the Mackinaws, blade baits. Didn't catch much on the... Um, uh, cut bait. I spent a lot of time with cut bait today, actually. I didn't get many bites on it, so. Alright. Probably whistle fish right here. Yep. Black crappie. We're getting a lot of small crappies today. Uh, the size I sometimes see. I might not be in the right zone for a bigger crappies. Good to see they eat the, the little Mackinaws pretty well though. All right guys, I'm packing it in. Um, pretty pretty busy day out here. Caught a lot of fish, fun. You know, I like casual perch fishing and all that stuff occasionally. Nice and peaceful. I tried chunking for a long time today and I don't know if that was gonna be, the, that was necessarily the best decision. Maybe I should have just like, did something like a bucktail with a strip of um, perch on it to try to you know cover all my bases. I think maybe just dis dipping out and trying to find a, a flathead on structure might have not been the best strategy. Uh, well, maybe you thought that was interesting. I think that's the biggest white cat, but I'm 90% sure that's a white cat. I gotta go home and look at it, but the tail was different than the, um, the flathead, not the flatheads, the blue cats and the channel cats, so I think that was a white cat, but please, um, that's a coastal catfish we have here in North Carolina. Uh, I think Virginia has them too. I could be wrong. Virginia and South Carolina, you guys might have them also. I've jigged flatheads before. The flatheads I've always jigged have been, you know, there might be bait right next to the structure, but there has been structure for me to catch a flathead, so. Well, I'm learning a couple things. No stripers today and a uh, beautiful sunset on a wonderful late fall afternoon. So, all right guys, I appreciate everyone for watching. Check out today's video sponsor, Waterland Co. Sunglasses. There's a discount code in the video's description for an awesome pair of polarized lenses. Um, yeah, we'll see what else we can uh, end up doing. Uh, that was a fun little trip. Water temps for 60 degrees where I fished today and um, uh, primarily focused on uh, looking for fish on flats and 30 feet or so. So, I'll get back to the car and catch up with you guys on the next video. So, thanks for watching.